Everything here is so delicious. A short play by David Hilder. Jocasta and Antoinette at a cafe, as is their wont. They're on the balcony. I never stop marveling at this view. Truly. Worth the climb. Every time. Every time, indeed. How are Brooke and little Adam? Ah, wonderful. Brooke was just named captain of her sixth grade high ally team, and little Adam has nearly learned the alphabet. Oh, have you and Nathaniel heard from the adoption agency yet? We should hear any... It's a yes. Oh. Twins! Oh, marvelous! Just like we wanted. Do you know how many other couples we had to beat out for this particular blend of Southeast Asian, Central African, Nordic, and Latin X? I can only imagine. Several. We had to beat out several other couples. My but we won and now we have perfect twins. When are they due? 8 p.m. Cameroon time. Then we better order, no? We had. They open their menus and peruse them for a moment. Antoinette closes hers. I don't know why I even look. I know this menu like the back of my hand. Yet. <laughs> Yet we always have such a hard time ordering. You do, I've noticed. I'll try to be quick. I know your time is limited. Well, I have nothing but. <laughs> it's true, you're overloaded with time. <laughs> their laughter sparkles like sunlight on their crystal water goblets. Uh, well, perhaps it's because we've just been talking about your I'm in a new children now, but my eye keeps going back to... Don't tell me. You too? Are we going to have the same thing? I think we are. That is so us. Server! A waiter, probably their waiter, dedicated to their table alone, slowly makes their way over. They have clearly been hobbled. Walking is painful. Hello, what may I bring you? My only desire is that you have a peak performance here at Mountain Top Garden. You do not have to say that every time you come to the table. Actually, I do, or I get. What's the vintage today of the grilled and the roasted? Both the roasted and the char grilled are the same vintage. Today's baby is an 11-month Canadian. Urban or rural? From a family of bean farmers in the Saskatoon countryside. Oh, yummy. Well, I'll have the roasted and she'll have the grilled. And two bottles of oxygen. Each. Thank you. Will there be anything else? I don't think so. Uh, please tell the chef we're in a hurry. He's having twins today. That is wonderful news and cause for celebration indeed. I will be back shortly with your oxygen and baby. The waiter shuffles away, wincing with every step. Jocasta and Antoinette watch them go. Then... I used to be so annoyed by how slow service is nowadays. Better that than they be able to run, right? Exactly. Suddenly, the entire cafe shakes from some natural event, intense wind or a smallish earthquake. Jocasta and Antoinette grab the table, which is conveniently bolted down. The event passes. How are you since Marcus left? Never better. Truly? Ah, without a doubt. Oh, splendid. It's not like I left him, so that would have been a catastrophe. Oh, it would indeed. This way, 
I get to keep all the money. Have you seen him since? I don't intend to. And um, you should not answer this if it makes you uncomfortable. But don't you find the nights lonely? I don't. Really? <laughs> no. I bought a companion. Oh. Best investment I ever made with my former husband's former money. But isn't there something... Just say what you're thinking. Doesn't he smell? Of course not. Well, it's just that everyone says they- Everyone is wrong. Everyone is being obviously classist. Really, including you, Antoinette, to say something like that. Jocasta? Antoinette, you are among my dearest friends, but I must disabuse you. If you even have the notion that I would purchase a companion who would smell badly because he was for sale. I... You know what? No. He was not on sale, mind you. I don't dip into the bargain bin. Certainly not when making a purchase of this type. Well, I should hope not. Anyway, I'm still deciding what I shall call him. Perhaps Brian or Aloysius. I, I'm kind of in a gothic mood. You know. I see. <laughs> well, um, congratulations. Thank you. The waiter hobbles forward, carefully balancing four bottles on a tray. An expressionless Jocasta and Antoinette watch them slowly, painfully moving toward them. Your oxygen, madam. Your oxygen, madam. Do you require any assistance opening them or utilizing them? Yes, of course. The waiter wrestles open a bottle and quickly inserts a plastic tube up Jocasta's nose. She breathes deep as the waiter does the same for Antoinette. The waiter bows and moves away, breathing deep, delicious breaths of pure oxygen. Oh, thank goodness. Were my lips turning blue? A little. The air is awfully thin up here. Mm, indeed. They admire the view again. Plastic tubes stuck up their noses. After a few moments, their bottles are empty. They remove the tubes and throw the bottles and tubes over the edge of the balcony they're on. They do not look to watch them fall. Antoinette's device makes a noise. Uh, Nathaniel made it to Cameroon for the birth of our twins. He is a wonder. Isn't he? Look, he's sending a video. They look at Antoinette's device. We hear the audio, which is choppy at best. Darling, I'm on my way to... The pod didn't land in the hospital now. Things are getting very hectic. Oh God. Why are you pointing that at me? What are you? Antoinette, I love you. Please remember. The transmission cuts off. After several uncertain moments, Antoinette puts her device away. She takes a drink of water. Jocasta looks everywhere but at her, not sure how to be supportive, feeling very awkward. He looks well. Yes, he's very fit. He is. Much like Seth. I have decided to call my companion Seth. A simple yet ancient name. I see. Biblical, a foundational name, Seth. The waiter painstakingly moves their way to the table, pushing a cart with covered trays on it. When the waiter arrives, they place a tray before each of the patrons. 
Madams, here are your babies prepared to perfection. The chef hopes you will delight in every morsel. The waiter removes the covers from their plates, then bows and hobbles away, pushing the cart. Jocasta immediately starts eating, daintily, but quickly, as though manners were just overcoming the power of the flavor. Antoinette is still distracted. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's delicious today. <laughs> Antoinette just sits there. She tries to get Nathaniel via her device, but the call doesn't go through. Jocasta, having finished eating her portion of baby, eyes Antoinette's plate. Um, are, are, are you gonna... Before she can even finish speaking, there is another, larger weather event that shakes the mountaintop garden's bistro cafe. It smacks of disaster, like now. Their dishes and glassware and so on might well topple off the table. They may well have trouble staying in their chairs. At the very least, Antoinette's plate tumbles off to the floor. Eventually, the moment subsides. Do you think? It doesn't look so spoiled, really. I can't tell what's... And then she notices Jocasta on the ground, on her hands and knees, taking up Antoinette's meal, the baby she was going to eat, and eating it with her bare hands. There is less of manners now, more pure delight in the sensation of eating. Oh, oh, grilled. It's wonderful. Uh, server? Server? The waiter makes their way over to the table as Jocasta continues to eat on the ground. Yes, madam. I... Uh, it, it's just... Uh, Would you like I, your second bottle of oxygen now? I... I Yes. Very good idea, madam. After all, never know when you might be able to get the next one. Isn't that what they say? Yes. <sighs> madam, would you like your second bottle of oxygen now? Mm. Jocasta nods, still delirious from the food. <sighs> The waiter brings the bottle and tubing to her, gets her set. Then they rise, both to then they rise, bow to both Antoinette and Jocasta, and begin the painful process of walking away. You know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. Nothing Seth can do tops the sheer pleasure of eating and eating well. As Jocasta just lies there, breathing and digesting, Antoinette grabs her bottle and walks to the edge of the balcony. She looks over. Whatever she sees is terrifying. End of play. <laughs>